Hi Pisces, welcome to your monthly scopes. Please keep in mind this is only a general reading. Take what it feels right and with what resonates with your own life experiences at the moment. So for the month of August I'll be using the spread called the Diamond Spread which intends to bring to awareness possible energies that might be working with you during this month. And Pisces, it's a month to self-reflect. It's a month to really go on your own and, and understand the difference as well between being alone and being lonely. Because you may uh, start the month facing some sort of disappointment or a heartache. You're, you're having a hard time with something in your life right now that it's not giving you a sense of love, that it's not giving you a sense of uh, happiness and contentment, which is what you most desire, is to be content, to be satisfied emotionally, to be fulfilled. But you need to do uh, inner work, you need to do inner healing in your own emotional body so you can get to that stage because the situations going on right now in your life are a reminder that you still have emotional work to do, especially regarding your fear or your possible fear of being alone, your possible fear of being alone and being confronted with all of these matters, all of those matters of um, emotional trauma, emotional shadow that needs understanding, that needs self-love as well. So you begin the month with um, the isolation card and usually this card is the three of um, swords. This card really talks about we facing some sort of heartache or sorrow within a situation and it's, and it's there because we need to see something, we need to realize something that we were not wanting to see or understand of that situation. And uh, and that rep representation of ourselves and that's why disappointment happens is for you to understand that you also carry within you a lot of uh, disappointments and a lot of fear of letting people see the true the truthful death of your emotions um, of your emotions uh, and feeling and in ways of handling those. So you begin the month with a disappointment to make you go on a journey, which is the unconscious energy working with you, to make you go on a journey of self analysis, self reflection, being okay with who you are, being okay with who you are not as well, being okay with feeling uh, really happy and content being with other people or just being by yourself this is very important not only for you for all of us it's so hard to um, be alone and not feel lonely because we are so wired to believe that others friends family social clubs love relationships they will fulfill us they will save us they will heal us well they are only there as a support because the inner work, your work, it's only yourself that can do. And it's a reminder of that this month. You will achieve much wisdom, much knowledge and illumination within this journey of self-discovery, of self-revelation. And this is why the, the situation is going on. Or maybe if you don't feel it, if you don't suffer any kind of disappointment, you are just feeling more sad or more emotional than usual. And you may want to control or suppress that, but actually what will help you this month is crying and doing any kind of self-emotional uh, realization because you may have a lot to cry on and a lot to release in this process. And you also have to believe that you are very, very, very... Um, you are you are very content, content. You you have a lot of company when uh, you are 
on your own if you even if you do not see it believe that you have because that will help you go through this period in a much more um, beneficial way in a way that you will not fight against it in a way that you will not reject the process in yourself or keep eluding yourself into going from relationship to relationship to acquire some sense of security that eventually fades out so really pay attention if you are called upon to be alone right now be alone and don't be afraid of being alone because the conscious energy that you are aware of is laziness or the nine of cups which usually talks about wish fulfillment so this guy is lazy because he has everything that he needs he has everything that makes him feel abundant and happy with his own life he doesn't wishes for anything else so two scenarios are possible here either you are aware that your wish fulfillment is not you didn't get yet to this wish fulfillment you desired or you thought you did but now suddenly something happened and you realize that the dream was not real and that you were settling for less than what you are and what you feel and what you believe and outside it's a, there's a mirror of either how much you can gain or how much you can lose within this process so be mindful of what wish fulfillment means to you of what feeling content and abundant within your emotional uh, life means to you be mindful be honest with the places of com complacent energy lazy energy that you may be settling with uh, because you're afraid to be alone in the process. The solution, what will help you, is the outsider card. So, definitely, what will help you again is to not be afraid to be the outsider, not be to not be afraid of being alone, to not feel like you are rejected or you you are not worthy because you are different or because suddenly you realize, okay, I'm not happy with this. I need to go in a different direction. Don't beat yourself up. Don't feel small um, within the circumstances right now. And as well, remember, this card is always a reminder of what are your true true needs. Be, can you name it? Can you name your true truthful needs right now? Your emptiness, the feelings that what you're trying to fill with. Are they distractions? They are they really nutritious fulfillment? You have a lot of self questioning to do this month, Pisces, a lot. And what will benefit you is realizing this, realizing that you are not small. You are putting yourself down um, in fear, but you are not small. You have many things to explore and go after, um, and go after in the process. The outcome of all this. So in the, in the final stage of the month, we have schizophrenia. So you begin, you begin understanding choices you need to make. You begin to understand the difference between not wanting to make choices um, because you really don't know what to do or not wanting to make choices because you are in denial and not wanting to follow the, the, the path of truth, the path of heart. So... Um, you, you, you end the month really understanding the power of choices and that it's not uh, this feeling of being split, of not knowing what to do, is really a state of mind. A state of mind that is created by a false sense of security uh, right now that you need to release. You need to cry upon the matter. You need to love upon the matter. You need to uh, unburden yourself. And also take a look at your mindset. Take a look at the mindset keeping you in suffering, unrepetitive pattern of self-inflicted uh, suffering in constant situations where you just change the characters, but the story is always the same. So pay attention because in the end of the month, you can be strong enough to make those choices and to feel better within yourself, to not feel as mind-split or mind-divided as you have been and pay attention as well to the relationships you are maintaining or wanting to maintain even if they are not giving you happiness just because you are afraid of being alone 
August is a month where being alone will give you much more benefit than being with others. So Pisces, I wish you a great month. Thank you for listening, liking, subscribing, and hopefully we'll see each other next month.